In this fifth video, we will analyze the economic results by historical artistic period, considering the macro categories post war, pre war, and old masters. From 2016 to 2017, sales for the post war art period increased by 77%, with a consolidation in 2018 of another significant leap. The annual changes are affected by the inclusion, in the 2017 results, of the $450 million sale of Leonardo da Vinci's Salvator Mundi. This sale conditioned market outcomes and alone accounted for 10% of all that was sold in that year's entire post-war segment. Quality, origin, and desire for novelty were the guidelines for purchasing choices in the art market in 2018, which confirmed the trend that emerged in 2017. Collectors more and more informed and selective have oriented their choices in a more targeted way. They have reduced purchases of works of medium quality, signed by big names, in favor of works by authors less known on the international market, but with great potential and an important provenance, such as Jenny Saville, Cecily Brown, Christopher Wool, Maurizio Catalan, and Cause. The latter jumped from a high of $489,000 in 2017 to a record $14,772,000 in 2019. David Hockney's large painting, Portrait of an Artist, Pool with Two Figures, sold for $90 million at Christie's, tripling the artist's previous record. The work was, until 2018, the most expensive work by a living artist ever to be auctioned, but was surpassed in 2019 by a few hundred thousand dollars by a production by Jeff Koons. The tendency of collectors to invest in new names has meant that the market prices have settled for the works of many blue-chip artists, such as Francis Bacon, Andy Warhol, Gerard Richter, Jean-Michel Basquiat, Roy Lichtenstein, and Keith Haring. These names have therefore seen their prices stabilize over the four-year period between 2016 and 2019. The results suggest that 2018 and 2019 will be the end of a period of recovery, moving the art market away from the crisis and uncertainty of 2016. With similar success to the great international artists, but with the due proportions, the top lots of some Italian masters, such as Lucio Fontana, Alberto Burri, Alighiero Boetti, and Michelangelo Pistoletto have also remained constant. The tendency to stabilize prices at good levels is confirmed and the results push us to affirm that with 2018, a two-year period of solid recovery has concluded. From 2016 to 2018, pre-war market sales almost quadrupled in value terms. The biggest jump, by two and a half times, was from 2016 to 2017 with a further increase of around 40% the following year. 
In the three-year period 2016 to 2018, a return of great collecting of pre-war historical masters has been confirmed, with purchases at high prices and new records, as in the case of Amadeo Modigliani, $157 million. Kazmir Malevich, $85 million. Henry Matisse, $81 million. Constantin Brancusi, $71 million. René Magritte, $27 million. We also highlight the confirmations for Van Gogh with $40 million. Pablo Picasso, $68 million. Claude Monet, $84 million. Ernst Ludwig Kirchner, $22 million. And finally, Egon Schiele, $24,572. In the three-year period 2016 to 2018, a return of great collecting is confirmed also for the historical Italian pre-war masters with purchases at high prices and in some cases also with new records, as for a painting by Umberto Boccioni which sold for over $12 million, and an oil painting by Giorgio Morandi which sold for over $4 million. The Old Masters sector is a complex segment that has confirmed its solidity with a growth of over 200% in terms of turnover in the period 2016 to 2018. Some record prices confirm the propensity to purchase by collectors provided that quality works with valuable provenance are offered on the market. The market for antique paintings continues to be solid, especially when masterpieces are offered, which often produce results well above expectations. Apart from the exceptional case of Leonardo da Vinci's Salvato Mundi, whenever important works by the great Europeans, such as Rembrandt, Rubens, or the ancient Italian masters, are offered at auction, records are recorded, such as the recent 2019 sale of Cimabue's Christ Mocked. The growing awareness of buyers also requires a great deal of research and analysis of the works on the part of the operators, who must present the most complete and exhaustive documentation possible concerning provenance, authenticity, and conservation. Art historians, scholars, and restorers play a fundamental role in this case. The two most consistent categories remain post-war and contemporary art on the one hand, and Impressionist and Modern Art on the other. Both have been driving the market for over 10 years. The prices of ancient painting are not the same as those of modern and contemporary art. This is attributable to the fact that to appreciate the old masters, one must have a thorough knowledge of traditional Western culture.